channel. So today I'll be baking um, mushrooms in the oven. It's something that I do when my family has a barbecue or we have a barbecue because I'm vegetarian. So this is kind of my meat option that I have um, instead of having meat. So most people are like, what do you do for a barbecue? Well, this is what I do. And my family also do this for when I'm going over there or if we have other members who are vegetarian as well. So I also had a request from a lovely subscriber who requested this recipe as well. So I thought I'd get you to follow along of how I make that. And the other recipe I'll be doing today is I'll be making some quick pickles to that keep in the fridge so don't need to preserve or canned or anything like that so they just keep in the fridge so we'll start with the mushroom recipe first here are my ingredients i've got out i've already um, preheated my oven and my oven is at 180 degrees celsius or for my friends who are in america uh we it is i looked it up it's about 350 degrees fahrenheit roughly um, so I've got my mushrooms, you can see I've picked some fresh oregano from the garden, also some thyme. Here is some feta, this feta that I get, it's like a soft goat um, style cheese and it's marinated in olive oil. So that's that. I've got your eggs, I've got breadcrumbs, which I think you can see. So these breadcrumbs I made myself. There's always end bits of bread that we, no one really likes to eat for some reason. So I let them dry out and then I just pulse them and make them fine. So that's those. And I've got garlic I've just chopped up. And then of course is olive oil. Um, okay, so first thing is first. Here I've got my mushrooms, so usually the larger mushrooms. I've already taken the stalks out of these ones you'll see here, but let me just move that olive oil out of the way. So basically, um, you just take the stalks out first. So I just twist, twist them out. Like if I don't have to come out, I have to come out perfect. There you got your stalk. So over here you'll see these are my other stalks. So what I usually do is I chop them up and I use those as well. So nothing really goes to waste. So. You got your mushroom ready, you pop him in with all the other guys. Okay, so the first things first is I'm going to drizzle olive oil on, and I'll just move the pan the camera around. I drizzle olive oil on the mushrooms. So just go all the way over the mushrooms. Then I get my garlic and I just pop that on my mushrooms. I like a lot of garlic. Some people don't. Um, yes, yeah, stay away from me after I've eaten my mushrooms, but um, I always love the flavor. So just put that on those guys. Okay, so the next thing I do is I will chop up these stems. So these stems, Sometimes I use them in this, like I've got a fair few here. Some of them I will use if I'm making stock. So I've got a bowl here, I'll just pop that in there. Some I use if I'm making stock, some I use also in a mushroom uh, gravy. Sometimes I'll use extra um, these bits of mushrooms, like if I'm making omelette for breakfast the next day. I use them up in that. So we don't have to go crazy. So I'll just chop all these up. So basically the filling, you can put whatever you like in it. I have done it before with couscous or quinoa as well as a filling with the egg, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, you don't have to use feta cheese. You can put like a cream cheese in it as well. Um, okay. Here we go. So I've got that. I've still got a couple of mushrooms left over, but I will use those for my omelette tomorrow. Okay, so the next thing is I just put a bit of 
breadcrumbs in it. I don't usually weigh everything. Um, so just do it at your discretion. Um, with my herbs, chop those up. You can use dry herbs. It's just because it's summer here and I want to make the most of my fresh herbs, which are growing great. Um, but we do dry herbs as well for the winter. Not that it freezes over here, but um, they grow a lot slower in the winter, the herbs here. So we can grow the herbs all year round, but like I said, just slower in the winter. So we pop all of that in. Okay. Next thing is that with the feta, I usually just sprinkle it on top of my mushrooms. I just find it easier. Um, but you can put it in with the mix as well. So I just crumble a little bit on it on each mushroom. Now, I'm being generous here with the feta, but, I mean, you can just even use, like, a little bit. I've done it before where I've had it in a little bit of feta, and it still tastes great. So, I'm being a bit generous. Do mind that. Okay, so, just crack my eggs. So, usually, I do about one egg. You can do two. I'm going to do two this time. So just gently mix this all together. I've got a smaller bowl here because I wanted you guys to see what, what I'm doing. If I get my large bowl out, you wouldn't be able to see. Okay. So it doesn't look very appetizing at this stage, but trust me, it is. All right. Okay, it's all mixed up. So I just grab a spoon, I just grab a teaspoon because it's just easier to scoop everything in. And I put them in the oven, so usually it's about, I allow half an hour. It depends how much you fill them is how long they're going to take. So I'll cover them with foil and then I'll pop them in the oven for half an hour. I'll just check on them, check on them like... Cats, sometimes they've taken 40 minutes, but usually it's about half. Okay, everyone, it's been half an hour now, and they are ready, so I'll go grab those out the oven. Okay. Ooh, smoking. So, they are done. They didn't take that long. And I literally, I've got a plate here where you can see. I made myself a little salad. Um, these are greens from the garden and some tomatoes. We're getting lots of tomatoes already now. They're ripening really fast. So literally, I just grab a mushroom and place them on the plate like that. And that's it. They're all done. Next recipe I want to make is the quick pickles, which they keep in the fridge. And this is a recipe from my mum's family, and it's called giardinera, which I know my mum will probably say you didn't pronounce that right. But it's an Italian recipe, and it means from the garden, in the garden. I know that giardin in French means garden, so yes, very similar. Anyway, so... To do this recipe, I have already prepped some things, which I will show you. So down here, you'll see my water. I've got some bay leaves. It's actually from my mum's garden. They're dried out. And we have got some peppercorns. And also, we've got some mustard seeds. 
You can put chili in here if you like, but my mum doesn't like that, so I'm just going to keep that one out this time. I've got sugar. I've got a little bit of water, but majority of it, I would say 80% I put in here is white vinegar. Make sure you have a good white vinegar. Don't buy the cheap brands for this one. And a little bit of salt. Like I've got a little um, salt shaker, so just a couple of um, whirls of that. Okay, then I've done all my vegetables. I'm going to put carrots and cauliflower this time, but you can put other vegetables in it. You can put like little peppers in it. You can put capsicum in it. You can put onion in it. Some people put celery in it. So it's really up to you. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start boiling the, the solution or the brine. And I'll put that on the stove for about 10 minutes. And then once that's at boiling point, then I put all these veggies in. in. So the brine has come to a boil and I've let it boil for an extra 10 minutes. And I'm going to pop all of these veggies in the brine now and I'll let them boil for about 10 to 15 okay, so now I have finished cooking off for about 10 15 minutes after it boiled and I will let this cool down to room temperature <laughs> and then once it's cooled down I will put it in my jars and then I'll pop it in okay, the so it's been a couple of hours so I'm just gonna grab Fork and I will. I've got these sterilized jars, and I'm just going to literally scoop all the veggies in okay, here. Okay, so I filled up all my jars. So now I'm just literally I've got a funnel, and I'm going to pour the brine on top. Make sure it covers. And the next one. Okay, then I've just got a little bit of peppercorns and whatnot, pop those in there. I've popped a lid on these now and I've finished putting them all in the jars and they're going to go in the fridge now. They'll take about five days and then they'll be ready. So they're kind of like going to marinate in this brine. Um, and then from there I'm going to use them with my platter at Christmas with all the the cold meats and the cheeses and all the sun-dried tomatoes and all that jazz. So this will also go with it. It's one of my mum's favourite things. So that's another reason why I made this as well. So I'll let this set in the fridge and she'll be ready for when my guests come. Okay, well thanks for following along with this cook-along and I hope that you got some ideas as well, some different recipes. I'd love to hear if you have any other recipes that you do that are simple with um, pickles as well. Or even do you make your own mushrooms or what do you do when you have barbecues? Um, do you have any alternatives? I, you know, if you're vegetarian or if you're not vegetarian, what you'd like to put in the barbecue. Um, thanks so much for watching and I will uh, talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.